Good morning guys, so today is Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, so today is Tuesday. Um, yesterday it kind of went pretty smooth, I guess. Um, the kids were kind of a little antsy. Some of them are just like done wanting to do projects, but they haven't even worked on them. So that's a fun transition. Um, so <laughs> I'm working on a new project with my middle schoolers where we are finishing our last pieces on our dragon eyes and then we are working on starting the background to our Jojo Keith things again because like I said I see I see them split so they only come twice a week so that's what we're doing today super fun um, let me pull out my laptop and get everything set up but I have most of it set up from yesterday so it should be pretty good for the most part I have to just set up the chairs and get my videos and things set up on my laptop so that way they can watch the videos and while they're doing that I'm probably going to finish my syllabus and getting my Google Classroom set up for next year so that way I don't have to worry about it too much over the summer except for making examples for my bulletin board next year. So those are kind of like a list of my itineraries for the day so I shall talk to you guys later. Bye! So I'm starting on like uh, my sculpture classes and planning for next year since it's pretty much my plan time. So this is going to be my 3D media class so far. Um, basically this is just on Canva. You can use PowerPoint or however you want. I like Canva because of the easy way to kind of format everything. So I kind of have this cute little title page. Um, like obviously a welcome. Um, I have my course description, um, what we do during an LP, which like I said, learning period is what we do every month and LP equals one. So we do have nine months, so that's how we go about it. Um, my classroom rules. Oops, I'm gonna have like required supplies that they're gonna need, so like sketchbooks and things like that. Uh, oh, permission slips I that way I have that all planned our classroom goals that way they know what their goals are for the whole year um, I'm gonna put grading in here um, and then I'm also going to add elements for my rubric which let me pull this up here in my teacher planner I have a rubric and this is how I like to grade students so um, that way they have that on there so um, after each project I like to technically have this set up for my PLT so that way when they're collecting the kids work they can see how they did on their art project and I want to kind of accumulate it <clears throat> excuse me this way so that way I can have evidence and I can kind of show all right so these are the goals that we want to maintain in our art pieces so that's kind of my mindset there for that This is totally old fashioned, but I got all of next year planned out by each class and each LP, which is the month. So I have all the projects and ideas that I think the students will do good, except for art and diversity. I'm going to take some extra time to focus on those topics and subjects to get what we need, but that's it. And I have mostly next year planned, so I'm super excited.